God will not leave your soul destitute in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God heard everything you said to him went to his ears. He heard everything that you petitioned him for and he wants you to know that he will not leave you destitute. He wants you to know that you are not forsaken. Dear child of God, he wants you to know that you are not left all by yourself to struggle alone. He will come to your rescue. He will deliver you because you trust in him, because your faith and because your confidence are upon him. God wants you to know that he is coming to your rescue and you would have reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, please do not keep your mouth shut. The word of God says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So say it today that God is turning towards my direction and he will set me free. God is turning towards my direction and today will be the end of my challenge. Today will be the end of my problems. Today will be the end of all the situations that had experienced. Dear child of God, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. God is turning towards your direction and it will turn everything around for good for you and for your family. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. You shall overcome. You shall rise in victory and you shall be celebrated. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Do not be afraid because it is your time to experience an upliftment from the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Are you saying to God right now, consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Is that what you are saying to God right now? Please consider my enemy. God wants you to know that everything that you have spoken to him, yes, you are taking them into account and is going to bring every of your enemies to book in Jesus' mighty name. Good news, dear child of God. Every of those enemies, every of those haters, every of those people that have been too strong for you to handle, God wants you to know today that he will take care of each and every one of them. He would handle them in the way and manner he so fit in the name of Jesus. God is ready to stand for you. And the way he deems it fit, he will do in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no one like your God. There is no rock like our rock. Dear child of God, the Lord wants you to know today that everything you told him about all that you had experienced, he has taken them into account. And today, he would act on your behalf in Jesus' mighty name. David was sincere. He said to God, for they are many and they hate me. Dear child of God, they may be many that hate you. They may be many that seem too strong for you to handle. God wants you to know today, dear child of God, that is considering each and every one of them. And if they refuse to repent, they would begin to receive the recompense of all of their evils today. And it will continue until all of them are gone from you in Jesus' mighty name. Dear child of God, good news the things that may have afflicted you the things that caused you to be afraid god is saying to you i'm looking into them i'm looking into everything and i would make sure you experience a deliverance a change and you shall be delivered in jesus mighty name the psalmist said to god in psalms 141 verse 8 but my eyes are unto thee O god the lord in thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. And God made sure he was not forsaken. God made sure he was not left at the mercy of the devil. Dear child of God, God made sure he was not given over to the enemies that wanted him destroyed. God wants you to know today that your eyes and his eyes have connected and is going to rescue you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, as you looked up unto him, you also looked towards your direction. And he wants you to know today that you shall be uplifted. He wants you to know today that he will set you free. You shall be delivered and you shall testify of the Lord's goodness 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, good news. You shall not be left to be destroyed. You shall not be left all by yourself to be at the mercy of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will cause you to triumph. Dear child of God, God will cause you to triumph. This is a good news to you, dear child of God. You are not forsaken. It doesn't matter those who are speaking to you. It doesn't matter what the enemies are whispering to you. It doesn't matter what the devil is saying. God has not left you. Yes, they may be telling you God has forsaken you. It is all lies from the pit of hell, dear child of God. Good news. You will overcome. You will overcome all the things that the enemies are doing to crush you. And you will rise in victory. You will rise in victory. You will rise in victory in Jesus' mighty name. It shall be settled for you and for your family. And you will know that you are no longer a destitute. Does it look like you are all by yourself? Does it look as though you are at this point desolate? And you are asking God to turn to you. You are asking God to show you his mercy. You are asking God to redeem you. God wants you to know today, dear child of God, that he will turn towards your direction. I have a good news for you today, dear child of God. God is turning to your direction and he would make sure all the help that you need. He will make sure all the assistance that you need. He would make sure all the aid that you need will be coming your way in Jesus' mighty name. Good news, dear child of God. God will redeem you. God will make sure you are redeemed and you are set free in Jesus' mighty name. He said in Psalms 25 verse 16, Turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. He said, Redeem me, verse 22, O God, out of all my troubles. And God responded. God showed up. And God redeemed him. Dear child of God, good news. God is showing up. He's showing up on that matter. Dear child of God, God is showing up. You will see his hand. You will see his touch. You will see his deliverance in the name of Jesus. Dear child of God, that situation is settled. Dear child of God, that affliction is gone. Dear child of God, that situation will see the end today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God has turned towards your direction. And everyone that God had looked towards have always experienced a deliverance. And I want to tell you today, dear child of God, yours will not be an exception in Jesus' mighty name. Good news, you will be redeemed. You'll be redeemed from everything. And your testimony will be led you redeemed of the Lord say so. Say it today, because so shall it be. You will tell the people around you, God redeemed me. You will tell the people around you today, God save me. You will tell the people around you today, God settled my life. He said in Psalms 18 verse 48, He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Dear child of God, God is delivering you. God is delivering you from those violent enemies. God is delivering you from that violent situation. Yes, that situation that was almost destroying you. Jesus mighty name. Amen. You are no longer forsaken, dear child of God. God will hold you by the hand and he will raise you up to the place you are supposed to be in Jesus mighty name. Amen. I call it done because it is settled and you shall testify in Jesus name. God will deliver you. I will not just deliver you, it would make sure you are uplifted. It would make sure you are promoted. It would make sure that everyone that wanted you down will see you at the top in the name of Jesus. When God turned the story around for Joseph, the people that wanted him destroyed, the people, yes, his brothers, the people that hated him and wanted his life to end, all they would see was to see him at the top all they would see was to see that he was uplifted and he was above them all. Dear child of God, this is how God will do for you. 
in Jesus' mighty name. God will raise you up. He will place you above them all in Jesus' mighty name. And this is how your life would experience a breakthrough that you have waited for for a long time in Jesus' name. I call it done because it is settled and you are more than a conqueror in Jesus' mighty name. The enemies cannot succeed over your life again. Never again would they succeed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.